Good morning. Good morning. Deb's on vacation. So yes, we are 51 minutes late, but Deb's on vacation. So I what do you to sleep in? What do you, what do you want? What do you want? After all those meals yesterday, I I was tired. Yes, did Debbie so cook like I'm 600 good. meals um, yesterday, and uh, we had to buy a new refrigerator because <laughs> we couldn't fit them all in, which wouldn't be such a terrible thing. I guess. No, it wouldn't. First world problems is First world says. problems. <laughs> we've got too much food. We can't fit it in the refrigerator. So we have to buy. So we need to buy a new fridge. That's a first world problem. Hey everybody, thanks for popping in. Um, last week, you know, I did the, the the program by myself and I wasn't very good, but I did my best. Uh, and I talked about the five love languages. What we're going to do this morning is um, Debbie's actually going to take the quiz, and I'll tell and, as we go over the over the languages. And sort of give you an idea of what the questions are. I actually want to tell you exactly what the questions are. Not an idea. Exactly what the questions are. And encourage you to do the same thing. Um, you can do it with your spouse or, or spouse. Or you can do it by yourself if you're curious. Um, I think that that's something that you should probably do. Uh, that way you get an idea. And then maybe you can sit with your spouse and go through your quiz. You might learn something. You know, somebody um, it was uh, Pastor Smart of a local church uh, posted uh, a few years ago um, are you um, are you done exploring your spouse and the thing that came to me was no because the landscape keeps changing <laughs> every time you think no it keeps changing once you think you get to know somebody hey Mark they change on you they, they go ahead and change on you so it's a, it's a constant ex exploration of the landscape because the, land, the landscape keeps changing. But it would be so boring if they didn't. Think about it. How boring life would be if you didn't have change. That's one way to look at it. I'm thinking positive. <laughs> it would be a little less stressful, but uh, you got a point. You have a point. So what Debbie's going to do is she's going to take... It keeps it alive. It does. It does. Uh, she's going to take the quiz. And um, and I got I'm it up. Responding. I got up. I got it up on, on on another screen on the on the laptop, and we're going to talk about we're going to talk a little bit about the question as we move as, as we move along, and uh, it would be cool if you go to lovelanguages.com, you can take the quiz too. Again, you can take it. There's quizzes for couples, workplace, children, uh, but we suggest you take the one for couples first. I'm going to recommend do. this for our uh, work group. Yeah. I and, think it's a good thing, and then we and we get to know each other better. because because then because then you know what people respond to. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you've been in management, my, my wife was in management for actually she's been in management almost about damn 30, 15, 15, 25 years. <laughs> uh, and what she learned is that not everybody responds to the same thing. Yeah, that thing that people say when they're supervisors or managers that I'll treat everybody the same way. You have a nightmare. You will. You can't. <laughs> you can't treat everybody the same you way. You can treat because, everybody fairly, but yes. you can't treat them the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. You can be fair to everyone, but you can't treat them the can't same. Treat them all the same because, because people respond to different things. Yes, everybody don't like the same thing. Some people need their hands held. Some people need to be left the hell alone. And some people you can leave me alone. You, if you need to, if you need to hit them with a hammer, you can hit them with a hammer, and then they're good. When I'm drowning, I'll put my hand up. <laughs> um, I'm going to quit. Otherwise, just let me learn by trial and error. You know, once you show it to me and train me, let me go. Don't look over my shoulder every 15 seconds. Some people, no. some, some people don't like that. But some people say, don't don't leave me. I'm not ready. Yes. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't, wait, wait, where are you going? <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm ready. I'll be right over here. No, 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 no. Stay over here. Stay closer. <laughs> I want to be able to, okay, I want to be able to touch your elbow. Okay, how may I help you? Yeah, so so there's a whole wide range of, of things. Yes. Anyway, we can get started. Okay. Um, the um, the first question for it's for the love languages for couples is, is it more meaningful to me when, first, first of all, I receive a loving note or text for no special reason for a loved one, or m my partner and I hug? Unless you want, unless you want my toilet mouse, but I don't think you do. You don't like my mouse. Okay, it is more meaningful to me when 
I can spend time with my partner, just the two of us, or my partner does something practical to help me out. All of these lead to one of the five languages. I've already taken the quiz. Um, we're gonna do we're gonna do a couple more, and then I'll go back and, and explain some of the um, other my languages. My answers. Well, I'll, I won't explain your answers just yet, but we'll explain some of the languages if you missed last week. Um, it is more meaningful to me when my partner gives me a little gift as a token of love uh, for each other, or I get to spend un uninterrupted leisure time with my partner. Mark, you and Lisa, go ahead and do it. Me, uh, Mark, you and Lisa need to do this if you haven't done it already. And you guys seem like you're the evolved couple that you've probably already done this before because you're so evolved. Uh, one more. Um, it is meaningful to me when my partner unexpectedly does something for me like filling my car or doing the laundry or my partner and I touch. Well, I, I know these answers. I already know these answers. All right, so let's um, take, a, take a quick pause from that, and let's talk about some of the languages. Um, there are first, the first language is words of affirmation. Uh, according to Chapman, I'm the guy who wrote the book, uh, this love language, <coughs> need the people with this love language need to hear their partner say, I love you. Even, even better is including reasons the love um, through leaving them voice messages or written notes or talking to them directly uh, with sincere words of kindness, kindness and affirmation. Do people write notes anymore? Eh, some people still do. Like if you've got one of those cool refrigerators that you can write the note right on the refrigerator. Yeah. Or you can send a text to the refrigerator. I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I, I want one of those. Sit on a text to the refrigerator. Nobody needs this, but everybody wants it. Um, and then there's another, and, and the second one, and we're, gonna, and we're gonna get back to the quiz in a second. Uh, quality time. This language, Chapman says, is all about giving your partner un- divided attention. That means no TV, no chores, no cell phones, no kids. Okay. Just giving each other your undivided attention. Take time to do take time to do this. Uh, spending time with your partner is about being together, paying attention to each other, sharing something meaningful together, and listening and communicating. Uh, other examples include preparing dinner together while talking and preparing and eating it, sharing plans for future, making love and or creating something together. Some people need that. All right, we can get back to the quiz. Quiz, quiz. Quiz is one of my favorite words, by the way. Did you know that quiz is one of my favorite words? No, I didn't know It is. Because, okay. you know why? Because it's like this. Quiz. Quiz. It, it's one of those things, those words that really emphasize the Z. Quiz. Xavier is not. There's, we say Xavier, there's no Z in Xavier. No. But, but there is. But we say Xavier. It's not X Xavier, it's Xavier, but there's no Z there. Things that confuse me. Um, it's more meaningful to me when my partner puts his or her arm around me when we're in public, or my partner surprises me with a gift. Come on. <laughs> well, we're gonna talk about we're gonna we're gonna review all five, so don't get caught up in thinking that oops, you know where you're going where this is going, because you may not know where this is going. Um, it is more meaningful to me when I'm around my partner, at, even if we're not really doing anything, or I hold, my, hold hands with my partner. And even if you do these questions together, you may, you may, you may learn something. Now, especially if you're new in your, in your relationship or your marriage, um, and this may not just be for married people, this might just be for couples. Um, this might be something you want to do with someone that you've decided that you're going to be ser serious about, whatever whatever that means. Um, this might be something th that you'll do as a way to get to know somebody. Um, because... A new friendship. A new friendship or, 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 or new romance. Um, because you're not going to... Because everybody in the dating stage is, is, for the most part, on their best behavior. <laughs> for the most part, or should be on their best behavior. <clears throat> And getting to know them in a, a deeper way either will draw you to them or make you go, well, this may be a little bit more work than I had anticipated. And the person gets to know themselves, too. And I think that's really important. I think a lot of times we are communicating in ways that neither of us understand. And this is the whole men are from, you know, 
men are for Mars, women are for Venus thing. <laughs> and I don't, I don't think that, that that's true. We're both from Earth because otherwise we haven't found anybody on Mars or on Venus. The idea is... It doesn't mean <clears throat> physically. It just means symbolically you're from different planets. But we're not. But we do speak different languages. Yeah. They could say men are from Germany and women are from France. Yeah. That would make more sense to me. They, we do speak different languages. Um, and, this, and this is part of all of that. Next one. Um, it is more meaningful to me when my partner gives me a gift or I hear I love you from my partner. Some of them get, eh. It's the same questions. Just in a different way. That's what quizzes do. <laughs> it's the methodology. Uh, it is more meaningful to me when I sit close to my partner or I am complimented by my loved one for no apparent reason. Uh, I get a chance to hang out with my partner. Hang out. Just, we're just chilling. Or I get unexpectedly get small gifts from my partner. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I, I can see this, which is probably not the way to do it, but that's, <laughs> that's what we got going on here. Now, if <clears throat> we get the studio built out in a way that we could have like two cameras, that would be cool. Yes. Yeah, but we don't. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. If you go to the YouTube channel and you subscribe and you share, uh, maybe we can make some YouTube money and get that going. Maybe, uh, but it, but it would be cool. It is more meaningful to me when my I hear uh, my partner says, tell me I'm proud of you or my partner helps me with a task. Oh, okay. Uh, one more, and then we're going to go and talk about two more of the love languages. Um, it is more important to me when I get to do things with my partner or I hear supportive words from my partner. All right. The third love language is receiving gifts. A person who loves this language thrives on the love, thoughtfulness, and effort behind the gift. In short, actions speak louder than words. Um, the thing that works best is picking the right gift that shows you understand your partner and the effort you made to express love, Chapman says. Chapman is the guy who wrote the book. Um, think about finding a gift that your partner has been asking for or will enjoy receiving and plan for a special way of giving it. Make it a, make it a surprise. Maybe it's a perk. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, my life's been different since we found YouTube and Amazon. <laughs> my life has been different. Amazon. My life has been different <laughs> since Amazon and YouTube. My life has been different. Yeah. <clears throat> Amazon is much better than Home Shopping Network. I'll put it like that. Yeah, and you don't have to watch all the stupid shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mike Garris. You don't have to watch all the stupid made-up shows. Yeah, commercials, really. Well, yeah, the 45-hour commercials. The fourth language is acts of service. This language includes anything you do to ease the burden of responsibility, like vacuuming the floors, going grocery shopping, which we all do now because my wife grocery shops and we drive over to Pick Walmart up. pickup. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. What time? Three o'clock? Fine. No worries. It's been wonderful. The best thing ever. Anyway. Um, grocery shopping or sending thank you notes stumped us to what your partner needs. Chapman suggests, ask. I don't know what to do. Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. Gift card. Or what we can do. Amazon gift card. Or what you could ask your partner to do is put stuff in your Amazon wish list. Mm-hmm. And that way I can check your wish list. And yes. So I'm zipping through. There you go. See how easy that is? Best thing ever. Best thing ever. <laughs> Simple things like making breakfast or, or walking the dog. And we ain't got no dog. Good. Uh, demonstrate you care about your partner and, and your life together. Don't it, you want a dog? No, I don't. It says that you want to make your home relationship a more livable more livable, and you want to ease your partner's burden. Again, 
this is for married people, but hey, hey, Bill, what's going on? This is all. This is for married people, but it's also for you know, for young couples, and and for young couples that have made the decision to cohabitate. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna hate on you if you decide to cohabitate. I'm not going to hate on you. I'm gonna tell you that that you think that's that's the end of the story, and that's how, that's how it's going to be forever. That's not true. But uh, I ain't gonna hate on you if, if you cohabitate. But if you cohabitate, this this may be a way, a way to get to know your partner. To, while while you're cohabitating, while y'all shanging up. <laughs> Sorry, right? But I ain't hating on you. Our, our job is not to judge. I ain't hating on you. Our job is not to judge. Just trying to help. Um, there are things that we believe that other people don't believe, but we are not the judge of you. Like Aventure said yesterday, I don't I don't have a heaven or a hell to send you to. Mm-mm. Me personally, I, I, just, I just don't. Um, but this may be a way that you can, um, in that relationship, make it easier and better. And we're just trying to make it better. We're trying to make relationships better. Any relationship. Better. Okay, let's let's get back to the quiz. Um, it is more meaningful to me when my partner does things f- for me instead of just talking about nice about doing nice things, or I feel connected to my partner through a hug. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's more meaningful to me when I hear praise from my partner, or my partner gives me something that shows that he, she, he slash she, not he, she. That's something else entirely different. Um, is thinking about me as something completely different. No judging. And we're not. <laughs> and in order to not judge, not gonna talk about it. <laughs> Keep. That keeps me from judging a lot. I just don't talk about some stuff. I don't have to worry about it. Um, it's more meaningful to me when I am able to just be around my partner or I get I get a back rub or a massage from my partner. Aww. Well, that's a sweet question, isn't it? Aww. Thumbnail. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Facebook users. That's one of the things you got to do. Uh... It is more meaningful to me when my partner reacts positively to something I've accomplished, or my partner does something for me that I know they I know they didn't particularly enjoy. And we've all done that. We've all done something. And eh, really, this is not my favorite thing. Okay. It is more meaningful to me when my partner and I kiss frequently, or I sense my partner is showing interest in the things that I care about. So all of these things are going to require. This is a long quiz. It is a quiz. It's more of a test. Quizzes are ten questions, right? Mm-hmm. In school, there were ten. There were ten questions. Mm-hmm. Right? If you had a pop quiz, so the most it would be is ten. Yeah, ten, maybe fifteen. Pop tests were fun too. This is a pop exam. That makes sure that you are reading <laughs> your material. <laughs> Don't slack on your material. We're having, a, we're having a test when? I don't know. Sometime next week. Be ready. <laughs> and you always do the first day. You, you, you go into class and you hear, All right, everybody, welcome. Glad to see you. Clear your desk. What? <laughs> what for? Are we getting the snacks? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is college. You're not getting the snacks. You're not getting snacks? Oh, my God. I am not ready for this. Yeah, nobody is. Anyway, uh, one more. Um, it is more meaningful to me when my partner works on special projects with me that I have to complete, or my partner gives me an exciting gift. That's easy. <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Uh, it is more meaningful. You picked this thing. Now. I did. I <laughs> and did. I like it. Well, there you go. So, so, so it works. So it works. Uh, it is more meaningful to me when I am comp- I am complimented by my partner on my appearance. My partner takes time to listen to me and really understand my feelings. Um, it is more meaningful to me when my partner and I share non-sexual touch in public. Now, if you are experiencing sexual touch in public, get a room. Well, you know, again, I ain't, I ain't hating, I ain't going to judge you, but... Get a room. <sighs> yeah, that's Nobody want to see sexual 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, unless you're a freak. <laughs> unless, unless you're a freak. <laughs> you say, oh, it's okay. They're freaks. <laughs> Never mind. Get your freak on. Uh, anyway, my partner offers to run errands for me. Non-sexual touch in public or running errands. I kind of like both of those. Yeah. There you go. But that's... And we're going to... Um, okay. Okay. Want to talk about the last one? What time is it? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, i got to click on the button. Look at there. Clicked on it. And the last one is physical touch. Uh, people who speak the, the, this love language thrive on any type of physical touch. Hand-holding, hugs, pats on the back. Nobody likes to be pat on the back. Um, be intentional about finding ways to express your love uh, using physical touch. Giving hugs, touching their arm during conversation, offering a uh, offering to give a neck or back rub. Uh, according to... Um, no, neck and back rubs. What? Turn into... <laughs> well, they could, but not necessarily. <laughs> You know, this is this is one of the ones people think that is sexual that that will turn into sexual mm -hmm. contact. But they don't, they don't, they don't, first of all, they don't, first of all, they don't have to, and they don't always. Um, they don't always. Um, it depends on where you are. If you're in public, probably not. Or probably yeah, they, they not shouldn't. in public. You know, if you're down at armature works, you can give her a little back rub. You shouldn't, you know, go down by the water. Do you think? You shouldn't do that. That, that, that will be frowned upon. Your kids down there. Uh, according to Tessa, uh, physical touch is the most direct way to communicate love, as long as it's done in an atmosphere which is loving and not oppressive. I'm not sure what that means. Physical touch can be the most effective of the love languages. It calms, it heals, it reassures. Yes. Um, the bottom line is that not everyone expresses love in the same way, but being aware of the different love languages um, can help you understand your relationship better. And that's the whole point here. And, and the thing about physical touch... <clears throat> I think that helps even when uh, a loved one is ill, because that was something that that I did when when he was in the hospital and in a coma or whatever, um, or whatever. <laughs> he was in a. I would go in. I'm and not. I would just, I'm not sure what if it, what whatever <laughs> else it was, because I was asleep. But I I think that helped you because you really sure. you woke up. Usually when I when I did that, so don't don't take um, the touching for granted, you know. Especially if someone is ill and they and they need comforting or whatever like that, you know. I'm I'm jokingly saying about it turns into sexual, but sometimes it's just a a, a way of healing somebody. The the point of physical contact with human being with, with animals, uh, human beings included, is very important. You watch. Any animal, really. Uh, you watch your kit. You you watch Mama Cat with her kittens. You watch uh, Mama Dog with her puppies. Uh, you just watch animals, and touch a lot of times is very very important. Mm -hmm. um, so don't discount that as oh just somebody just as a sex thing. It is not just a no. sex thing at all, at all. That even is, if they even if they have a simple cold. And they're of the flu lying down on the sofa are and stuff just, like that. Just uh, are they just tired, tired or and just depressed? Came, or, just, or just or they just came home or, mm -hmm. or whatever? Or are are you having are you having a conversation? Mm-hmm. And it doesn't have to be that you're trying to turn them on. It, it doesn't have to be anything like that. But but that makes a that makes a connection. That physical connection makes a chemical connection. Yes. That becomes important. It even which that's is what, even biblical. Which is which is sometimes the laying why, on of hands and stuff. Why, which is sometimes why it leads to sex because people feel better. Mm-hmm. Have you had sex uh, with some with with a partner and didn't touch them? <laughs> Almost that doesn't count. <laughs> anyway, just just I'm, I'm just asking a question. I ain't judging. I'm just asking a question. Y'all can write that down in the comments if you if if you, if you have or you haven't or don't because I don't want to go to Facebook jail today. All right, uh, let's finish up the quiz. Uh, <clears throat> we got like ninety seven more questions. No, we don't. Um, <laughs> it is more important to me when my partner does does a does a bit more of his or her normal share of the responsibilities uh, around the house, work related, 
or I get a gift. For, I know that my partner is put a lot of thought into choosing. <coughs> Excuse me. That's hard. Well, you know, that's why that's why it's a quiz. Do, 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 do. I mean, that song's called "Waiting." The Jeopardy thing. I think yes. I, I think that tune is called "Waiting." Did you know that? Remember that. Are you a Jeopardy fan? You can get a prize. Someone. Um, we need to give prize. Not here. <laughs> we need to do that. If we reach, if we reach seventy-five. Um, on, on YouTube? Subscribers on YouTube. We'll give a, a, a prize? We're going to give a prize. I've got an Outback, Outback gift certificate over there, a gift card that has $9 on it. Want it? <laughs> We're not going to give that. No, I'm seriously, no, we'll I want to get a... I've got like a Chili's with nine ninety five on it over on the table. I will give an Amazon gift card. For $4. <laughs> for $4. Uh, yeah, if we, get to, if we get to 75 subscribers. Um, so there you go. Uh, my part uh, is it, more meaningful to me when my partner doesn't check his or her phone while we're talking. Um, my partner goes out of their way to do something that relieves pressure on me. Hey, Sharon. Yeah, and it, it is a quiz, and I think it has thirty. I think it has thirty questions, but most of them are just. Either, the either. same question over well, again. It's just either or, so so it's no big deal. I can look forward to a holiday because of a gift I anticipate receiving, or I hear the words "I appreciate you" from my partner, which is more meaningful. Um, in the, uh, my partner brings me a little gift that he or she uh, has been traveling without me. Um, the um, my partner takes care of something I'm responsible to do, but I feel too stressed to do it at the time. Yet all these questions lead to learning something about, first of all, about yourself, which is ultimately important. And then later on, um, when you share the results, your partner learning something about you too. Now, they may have, they may already have an idea. I know how this works out, by the way. This is, I won't give any, I, I will not give any spoilers, but I know how this works out. Uh, it's more meaningful to me when my partner does not interrupt me while I'm talking. Uh, or give the gift as, is an important part of our relationship. Hmm. There you go. Yeah, she does the same question over and over again, but they, they're they getting closer. And, they started <laughs> off this far apart, and now they're getting closer and closer. Um, my partner helps me uh, out when he, she knows I'm already tired. I get to go somewhere while, while spending time with my partner. Thanks for coming in. If you came in late, we're talking about the five love languages. De Debbie is now taking the quiz. Quiz is one of my favorite words for the five love, love languages, and we've explained them. If if you haven't, if you don't know anything about that, if you heard about it but you don't really know, um, you can go to um, www5, the number five, lovelanguages.com, and you can take the quiz. You, you can actually order the books, and you can see what it's all about. Um, and I suggest if you're in a relationship, whether you're married or not, that it's a really good idea. I think it's a really good idea to do. Um, it's kind of fun. Um, it's more meaningful to me when my partner and I are physically intimate or my partner gives me a little gift that she or, he or she picked up in the course of their normal day. And I have a, I, I have a suspicion that as people get on a, in a relationship, it, you know, it may change. Yes. So if you've done it, so if, if you said, well, we I did that when that first came out, years ago we'll do it again see if it's the same because you may want something different thing pe people change life is dynamic everything always changes it's more meaningful to me when my partner says something encouraging to me or i get to spend time uh in a shared activity or hobby with my partner like skydiving or bungee jumping which i'm not doing. rock climbing rock climbing rock falling really <laughs> I don't know why people want to fall off stuff. It's more, it's, it is more meaningful to me when my partner surprised me with a small token of their appreciation, or my partner and I touch a lot during the course of the of the of the day. There you go. Um, it's more meaningful to me when my partner helps me out, especially if they know that I'm already busy. I hear my partner specifically tell me I appreciate you. 
it was more meaningful to me um, when my partner and I embrace after we've been apart for a while. I hear my partner say how much I mean to him slash her. He wasn't that one. I timed that out pretty well. Finished. <laughs> and my top thing is... You tell him. Receiving gifts. <laughs> now, Debbie's uh, highest score uh, indicated um, receiving gifts. Um, now, what that doesn't now that doesn't mean I'm selfish. Well, and, and it doesn't mean <laughs> that the person is materialistic. Hey, Ed, what's going it on? Could mean that. How but, is? But I'm not materialistic. How's retirement? Having a good time? Ed Mason was the um, drama teacher at, at Do Rant. Good. Do Rant. Um. So I think that this is this is important to know, um, and it's important for Debbie to know, and it's important for me to know because. Now I can, I have the ability to um, show my affection and my appreciation and my love for her in ways that she understands. So remember, what is the thing that I say when you and Alex get home from somewhere? What do I always ask? How's your day? And what'd you bring me? What'd you bring me? <laughs> now remember last week when I said about the, uh, about going to Chick Fil A. What'd you bring me? I s I said, do you want anything? The answer is no. So you say, go to Chick-fil-A, get a number one with two sandwiches and some fries, and you eat the fries on the way home. Um, and then you get home with this Chick-fil-A bag, and she goes, did you bring me anything? You, you know guys, I want something. Guys. <laughs> I just don't know what I guys, want. Guys, you know you've all been through that. Can I have some? <laughs> can I have some of your fries? <laughs> but you didn't want fries. You said you didn't want fries. Oh, I didn't want my all for myself. I just want to taste them. And I have promised myself that if I ever go to Chick-fil-A again while Debbie's here, I'm just going to go buy two fries. Because, hell, I can eat them. <laughs> <laughs> they, they won't go to waste. <laughs> and I'll say, I'm going to cut my, my two sandwiches and my fries and go, here are your fries. Because who doesn't like waffle fries? If you don't like waffle fries, I don't From like From Chick-fil-A. If you don't like waffle fries, I don't like you. Okay, so, so there you go. So receiving gifts, I got a ten. Acts of service, a ten. I got a nine. A ten out of thirty. Ten. <laughs> that many. Ten. Out Quality of time, I got a seven. Physical touch, a two. Words of affirmation, a two. And what's interesting is that for me, words of affirmation was my first one. Wow. Almost the, almost the almost the opposite. Almost the exact opposite. Mine was words of affirmation, physical touch, quality time, active service, and receiving gifts. And probably twenty years ago, it would have been totally different. Probably because people want, people want different things as they mature. They 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 value you value different things as you mature as you mature. Yeah, mine yeah mine mine was exactly the opposite. Wow. I'm a different what fellow. does that say about us? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any earthly idea. But I want more gifts. <laughs> because when you ask me what I want, what do I what do I normally say? Just to be with you. Uh, yeah, I want. You know, when you go to the store, you want anything special? Yeah. No. I know. I know. I'm fine. So there you go. So that's, I always remember what you want before you remember what well, you want. Well, you I say, well, you said you wanted this. You suggest something. I go, okay, cool. That'll be that'll be nice. So, what do you want for your birthday? Nothing. This birthday, you wanted Father's Day. You this didn't fa specify this Father's something. Day. I wanted I wanted something. I wanted a thing, but not normally. No, not, not normally. normally. He doesn't. Normally. Me. I know what I want. Always. I went on and I told them exactly what I wanted for Mother's Day. And, and so, then it happened. And so what happened? Again, use the, tech, the available technology. Uh, if uh, you can get your spouse to who, who wants something is to go to Amazon and put it on, on the wish list, golly, that makes it a lot easier. That just makes it so much easier. That makes everybody so much happier. Um, this whole, surprise me! No. no.
We bought because you a pony. You gotta be, ladies. <laughs> Do you, you want a pony? Be, you gotta be specific about what you want because you you're thinking, well, he should know. He should know. And and then come Mother's Day or your birthday or anniversary or whatever, and they get what they think. You a pony. Want. They and got then, you a pony. And then you're like, what the hell? You don't want a pony? You don't even know me at all. I was sure that you wanted a pony. But they don't pay attention the way that we do. They don't they don't get the clues and stuff like that. They are problem solving people. And and if you <laughs> you create a problem then they think and and then you'll be mad when he gets you a vacuum cleaner. You want a pony? I solved the vacuum. We needed a new vacuum. And I got you one. But that's I love that. I got like you, a household. I got thing. you one. <laughs> thing. Not for me personally. Unless they put a vacuum. So don't put a vacuum cleaner on your Amazon wish list. <laughs> and guys, don't buy a vacuum or a mop. Or don't. And, but the weird thing is, is what I asked for Mother's Day was more of a household thing. Yeah, if you want a new, weird? yeah, well, that's what you want. And that's why our list are flippity floppy. Um, she wanted a, a faucet for the kitchen sink and mm -hmm. got a faucet for the kitchen sink. There you go. Um, and knives. And knives. Knives! Because that's now that me. I do... You want knives. No, it's because of meal prep. Mm -hmm. I did the meal prep and the knives that I had were kind of old. And and and, and, and and my son is a genius at household appliances and stuff. Yeah, he, I don't know why. Yeah, he's, he's able to research stuff about that kind of stuff. And he, just and he bought... The best set of knives Nails. I've ever owned as an adult, and I love them. So oh, that's yeah. it. Well, receiving gifts. Please do. Please don't mistake this um, receiving gifts as whole language as materialistic. The receiver of gifts thrives on the love, thoughtfulness, and effort behind the gift. And if you speak this language, the perfect gift or gesture shows that you are known, that you are cared for. And knew you were prized above whatever was sacrificed to bring the gift to you. A missed birthday or anniversary or a hasty, thoughtless gift would be disastrous. So you would, so so would the absence of everyday gestures, gifts, or visual representations of love, and are treasured greatly. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. And I was the opposite. I was uh, word, words of affirmation. Actions don't always speak louder than words. It is your love language. Unsolicited comments mean mean the world to, to, to you. Hearing the words, I love you, are important. Hearing the... I um, love you. Well, thank you. I love that. I need that. Uh, <laughs> hearing the reasons behind that love that love sends your, your spirit skyward. Insults can leave you shattered and not That's easily uh, forgotten. And are not easily forgotten. Kind and encouraging and positive words are truly life giving so there you yes. go and, and and i can say that for sure with him you know and i have because in the beginning of our marriage i could be very mean <laughs> the word is mean <laughs> there's any other word for it mean wow i could be very verbal no in, that's, in that's, that's, that's not negatively <laughs> negatively and, and <laughs> I was mean okay yes I was oh. um but <laughs> I, I'm learning I'm learning after 30 years I have learned um that he needs to be confirmed and and said you know I appreciate you I'm proud of you um I love you all those things mean a lot to him yeah. And, and, and I'm a sensitive fellow. Yes, he's very sensitive. I am. I and I am too. I am a but, but I am sensitive. But, and, 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 and I don't know, I don't understand. I'm learning more. Why was I that way? You know? I don't know. I know I'm, I'm, I have an idea of why I, I was where I, I am. Mm -hmm. I think, well, and again, we, we we spent our whole life trying to overcome our, our upbringing. We, our, you, know. <laughs> you know, we spent our whole life trying to overcome that. And our parents did. I know my parents did the best that they could with what they knew. And most parents do. Most parents are just are full out doing the best they can with what they you know what they know mm -hmm. to do and the tools they have available to them at the time. 
Um, so I ain't blaming them, but there but is I, I, I'm there is sure responsibility that there. That I get it from my father. Mm. Although when I met your father, he was the nicest, kindest, yeah, he, but most you didn't gentle. Know him before. No, I didn't. But he was the most gentle person <laughs> yes. that I mean that I at that, that, that time that I knew in my life. And that's where I am now. So we, I'm, I'm so I had to so survive. Like my father, I had I to survive. Like <laughs> mm-hmm. But that's what we want to talk about, and and and, and I want to I want to encourage you guys to go to to www five the number five lovelanguages dot com and take the quiz and sit down with your um, your spouse or your partner and take and take the quiz together. Um, get to know each other that way, and you may and you may or may not find out something different. Or it may confirm what you already knew, and that's important, too. Yes. That's important, too. Wow. All right. Okay. Debbie's on vacation, and so we're going to start the vacation week. <clears throat> we, we'll probably do some vlogging doing during the course of the week. We've got one of the family reunion this, yes, this weekend. Yes, this week. Heading up, to, heading up to Monticello. No, not not where Jefferson's home is, but in Jefferson County, um, which is really funny. People always yes. go, people go, New York? No, who the no. hell wants to go to New York? New York no, sucks. We want to go to New York. And New York right? is hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hot garbage kind of hot. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to go up in, to, to North Florida. <clears throat> which, is, we'll, which will be kind of warm too, but that's okay. It'll be fun. So we hope to take, take you along, maybe some of the car ride, because the car ride is like, if I drive, it's about... Three hours. If Debbie drives is about twenty minutes. No, <laughs> it actually takes about three and a half hours. <clears throat> if you drive like I do, yeah, but you and do, with me, it's about about fifteen about, minutes. <laughs> just, I have done it in in under three. See, I'm but that was years wrong. ago. That was a long time ago. I'm not wrong. I don't drive like that anymore. <clears throat> no. So anyway, so we'll see you over the course of the week for sure. It'll be fun. We'll invite you to the. Um, we, we may invite you to the family reunion that way you can meet some of our family and and enjoy some of the festivities. So that'll be cool. All right, until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody. And for goodness' sakes, y'all take care of yourself. We'll see you when we see you. Love you. Peace. Peace.